The Brno International Engineering Trade Fair has been the most important industrial trade fair in Central Europe for almost 60 years, and a unique place for tens of thousands of engineers to meet from around the world. It's a place for showing the latest developments and the future of the industry. This 57th year of the fair was attended not only by hundreds of companies from 32 countries around the world, but also by a number of specialists, important guests and top politicians. The company Elcom, which participates in the International Engineering Trade Fair regularly, has chosen a new form of presentation. It had its stands in the Electro Park in Pavilion Z. The Electro Park drew in the crowds of both the professional and general public. We've been at the Engineering Trade Fair regularly since 1993. We used to be right here in Pavilion Z, originally on the second floor, then on the first floor, or the ground floor. Then we went quiet for a time. We didn't consider the Engineering Trade Fair to be the right place for our presentations, so we gave preference to the AMPA Trade Fair. But when the Czech and Moravian Electrical and Electronic Association began to organize the robotics and electro parks, we joined in with this stand again. I think we have things to show, as the company Elcom and as a member of the Czech and Moravian Electrical and Electronic Association. This year, the Industry 4.0 initiative has started to shake up the industry. Elcom is proud to be involved in it, and we can say that our equipment that we make and supply, especially in the field of testing, is now ready for Industry 4.0. They can be flexibly integrated into various manufacturing processes. They are devices that have self-parameter setting and self-control capacities, and can be operated as an autonomous subsystem as part of a large manufacturing chain. Our company is exhibiting a workstation at this year's Engineering Trade Fair, which demonstrates the use of robots, especially for so-called haptic measuring. This means in practice that the force and torque are measured on various control elements. We can demonstrate this here, on the so-called control panel, which is a device for setting the air conditioning in cars. It's a workstation which completely replaces people and thus removes the human factor in measuring. It's therefore the robot that measures the force and torque on the individual control elements. Another group of products that we are presenting is the workstation where we can see a number of analyzers that are designed, produced and supplied for the power industry. These are analyzers for measuring the quality of electricity and analyzers that are used to measure the so-called synchrophasers, i.e. the parameter which is essential to assess the stability of the transmission system. It's worth saying for this product that we are trying to work with other suppliers. It's one of our strategic decisions on how to be even more successful in satisfying our customers' needs. We are looking for technological partners whose products can be incorporated in our portfolio of technological solutions. So you can see here not only Elcom's own products, but also those of Satek company. We have integrated these products and we have even added some missing parts in our research and development department. To create a seamless part of our ENA measuring system used for measuring in the power industry. Elcom experts also played a part in creating the accompanying specialist program. We congratulate Elcom on their successful presentation and we look forward to seeing them again at the next trade fair.